Hi, this is Lee here for EMY 101. I want to talk a little bit about the first uh, homework assignment. Of course, homework assignments are also known as the competency review quizzes for, the, for module number one. So I'd like to talk with you about the competency review quiz for module one. Uh, if we look, here is the quiz. When we start the quiz. I mean, we see this first question. What are the two major problems created by depending on fossil fuels for most of our energy? That seems pretty straightforward, right? You just uh, apply some thinking and uh, you'll find a good answer to that. Now the second question, if you push a cart along a horizontal surface with a force of 10 pounds and the cart moves 10 feet, how much work have you done in foot pounds? And again, how much in joules? Well, maybe what we can do is draw a picture of this. So maybe what we can do is draw a picture. Uh, we'll draw a little cart here that moves along. And we apply some force of 10 pounds. And it moves 10 feet, right? So the distance from here to here is 10 feet. So the first question is what is the work done in foot pounds? Well let's see, uh, 10 feet times 10 pounds is 100 foot pounds. Alright, but what about the work done in joules? Well we have already uh, 100 foot-pounds of work that's done and so we just need to find the conversion that allows us to end up with some number of joules. Because I want to end up with the unit of joules, I'm going to put joules on top. Because I want to get rid of the foot-pounds and replace it with joules, I'm going to put foot-pounds on the bottom. And there is uh, an equivalency in the book that talks about joules and foot-pounds. We can use that number, uh, that equivalency, and then just cross-multiply, cancel out our units, and we'll end up with some number of joules. Uh, so there's that quiz question for you. That's how we work through that. Uh, question three, how many tons of coal would be needed each year to provide for the entire energy needs for the average person in the United States. Well, we look in the textbook and uh, it seems like the answer is pretty straightforward. It seems like the answer is, oh, well, 32 or something like this uh, tons of coal. The problem is if you get that information from, I think it's figure 1.2 of the book, maybe at page 19, that is an incomplete uh, number. Uh, so what we need to use instead is that fact that's stated right near there that says that the average person uses 58 barrels of oil, uh, energy equivalency, per year. So we have 58 barrels of oil. If only we could find some equivalency between barrels of oil and tons of coal. If we could find this equivalency, then that would allow us to set up a problem uh, very similar to the previous one. So we would start off with 58 barrels of oil times some equivalency. Uh, and that's going to give us some number in tons of coal. Uh, so obviously in order to get rid of barrels of oil, we want to have barrels of oil on the bottom. And in fact, what we may find is that there is no single direct conversion. There's no one conversion that goes from barrels of oil to tons of coal. So what we may instead want to find is, uh, say maybe the joules of energy available in a barrel of oil. And... Um, the 
uh, joules available per ton of coal. And what that will allow us to do is cancel out our joules and then we'll have that expression that we're looking for. And uh, whatever these numbers are, we'll multiply by 58 and we'll end up with tons of coal. So I hope that that helps, that gives you some direction. I just real quickly will point out the question number five. A windmill produces 1400 watts of electric power. It's used to heat water. Let's assume that the efficiency is 100%. How long will it take to raise the temperature of 40 gallons of water by 50 degrees Fahrenheit? I see 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and I think my first thought is BTUs, uh, but we have to make sure that we're using the proper terms for BTUs. I don't know if 40 gallons is what we're looking for. So there's a thought. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to email me or even post on the web forums. Maybe your classmates can help you. Have a great day.